Ashley, can you see me behind this big pile of groceries? We had not been to the grocery store in a minute. So I thought, well, let's do a grocery haul while we've got all this together. And I know some of you really enjoy that. I enjoy watching grocery hauls. I don't know what we like about seeing what other people are buying and eating, but we're very curious people I'm finding out and that's okay. But with my grocery haul, I got stuff for us. I got stuff for Grammy School for my granddaughters that I keep. If you've not subscribed to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Vicki Wright. I live here with my husband, Chad. We have four grown children and I babysit my two granddaughters during the school while my son and his wife work. They're both teachers. So I keep them during the school year. So I buy a lot of things to keep on hand. One of them is three and a half and the other one is almost five months old, believe it or not. So yeah, so I thought that I would just show you all what I got. Everything here was $246. That's after discounts and coupons. So I think we got a pretty good lot and I've got about four or five recipes to share with you all out of this haul. So I'm real interested to see if you have any guesses on what I might be making with some of these ingredients, leave it in the comments below and let me know. Like I said, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram. I post on my stories typically daily. I share lots of things from shopping hauls, cooking, recipes, home decor, decorating, crafts, and of course, the Grammy School, which I don't share a whole lot of things personal about my grandchildren, but um, I do share what I'm teaching and things like that. So I hope you'll come along and I'll show you what we got. I hope you can see, it's hard for me to tell from here. Right here, this is Amelia's favorite lunch, is pizza rolls, the cheese pizza rolls. She goes through those pretty quick. Uh, I've got her a little bin, a bin in her playroom slash Grammy school room that I keep her snacks, juice, water, that type of thing in so she can help herself. And that really makes it easy for help take care of her sister as well. Some little crackers with peanut butter. We got some Graham, Teddy Grahams basically is what they are. And they're little packages. She likes Pop-Tarts for breakfast. That's something that I got. Uh, her papa picked out some Lunchables. I think they're for her and him. It's so funny. I can fix oatmeal, bacon, French toast, and all that stuff. She will eat it sometimes. He the other day fixed her, or opened it up. It was a chicken salad kit from Dollar Tree. Now, you know I love me some Dollar Tree people, not slamming the Dollar Tree, but I'm real particular when it comes to food and especially meats that you buy in a can. She loved it. She loved it. It came with crackers and a little spoon, maybe it was the packaging. I don't know, but she loved it. Chad said it was good. So there you go, you never know. She's also a snob when it comes to her macaroni and cheese. She prefers the Velveeta with the cheese sauce. She does not like the powdery stuff. Uh, I got her some uh, baby carrots and ranch dip in these little kits. Those, she loves ranch and she loves baby carrots. So that's a really quick thing. These are like $6.99, but like I tell my husband, when I've got the baby here and I'm trying to take care of her too, it's easy for me. Amelia is old enough that she can go to the refrigerator and get out what she wants. So that really helps a lot. Then I've got down here on the bottom, I hope you can see this. This is the apple slices already with caramel dip. So those come in a kit. So that really helps. I've got a, a lime, some bananas and an avocado. I'm gonna use the avocado and lime in a recipe. I've got, I hope I've got her some Pringles or Lay's in a pan and Dunkaroos as a little special treat. Uh-oh, I think I love her. She loves these beef sticks, so those make a good lunch. And she likes the little cute cheese to go with it. So I got me and her some of those. And that's good for me too, because a lot of days I don't get to eat very much, believe it or not. I did get me and her stuff to make uh, pizzas. I told her we would make homemade pizzas. She loves to cook in Grammy school. And we do a lot of cooking, believe it or not, a lot last year. And I think we made gingerbread the other day together. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that on my stories. But we're going to be making homemade pizza, so I got some crust mix, some pizza sauce, and pepperoni. I did forget the mozzarella cheese, but I'll pick that up before we do that. Um, 
this Rayo's, which is the pizza sauce, and also this tomato basil soup. Rayo's is delicious. If you've not tried it, I recommend it. It's really good. Their marinara is excellent. Their pasta sauce is excellent. And um, it's really good. And Amelia loves tomato soup and she loves grilled cheese. So with the cooler weather coming up, that'll be a good lunch option. I'm going to be using these crescent rolls on two different recipes. I've got a roll of sausage that I'm going to be using on a recipe. Um, kielbasa I'm going to be using in a recipe. A roast rotisserie chicken I'm going to be using in a recipe. Eggs. We always buy 18 egg count. My husband and I eat a lot of eggs, but I like egg sandwiches. I like boiled eggs, and I also like um, egg salad. So they come in handy, and we use them a lot. He also picked this little tray of potatoes up. These are really good. I've bought them before. They have, um, I think they're microwavable, and they have the seasoning packet inside of them. They're really good. I did go ahead and pick up some chopped cabbage. This is gonna go on a recipe I'm gonna be sharing, and it was really cheap, so I thought, well, why not? I don't have to buy a whole cabbage head. I love cooked cabbage. My favorite mini wheat cereal, I eat a lot. I got some Lay's Ruffle Chips, and Mia loves chips. This is gonna be used in a recipe, chipotle cheese, tortilla strips, and regular tricolor tortilla strips. I got a packet of chili seasoning mix. This is amazing if you've not tried it. It is local, um, but it is being carried in lots of different uh, grocery stores now, and I know Food City carries it. It's the GW Clisso Ranch dressing, but he carries a whole line of all of his salad dressings, barbecue seasonings, coleslaw mixes. He even has fruit dip. So check them out, GW Clisso. If I can find his link, I will leave it in the description box. This Rotel with the chilies I'll be using in a recipe. If you've never used the Better Than Bullion, I highly recommend it. It is amazing. It is not like the powder cubes you get. It's actually thick, condensed, concentrated bullion. That is for, this one's beef and this one's chicken. It doesn't take very much. It goes really far and the flavor is so much more in depth than a bullion cube. So I recommend you get those. I bought some more ginger because it's coming up gingerbread season. Like I said, Amelia and I made some the other day and I needed some more, so I picked that up. I got some dill relish. I'm still, I still haven't forgot Sonia to share my tuna salad recipe. I've not made it. That's how busy we've been. We've had a lot of sickness, a lot of death in our family, and um, it's just been crazy. And then school's starting back, keeping the babies. I've been doing a lot of quick cooker recipes. So if you follow me on Instagram and YouTube, you can see those recipes as well. Um, I picked up some sour cream for a recipe. I always need some real mayo. Um, picked up some, or this is my husband's. I got his little pile over here, but I'll show you. He got him some chicken soup. We got cannelloni beans or cannellini beans and some, um, you know, white cannellini beans and some corn. Those are both for a recipe. A bag of sweet onions. This is for a really good recipe is some apple cider, yellow cake mix, some powdered sugar. You do not want to miss this recipe and applesauce. That's some of the ingredients. Not going to tell you what it is yet. So check out my YouTube guys. Lots of good videos coming up. I always need milk. My granddaughter, the oldest one still drinks uh, regular milk. So she, we always need that. I drink a lot of milk too. My husband doesn't, but I love milk. I got me some wheat bread because I love it with my sandwiches and tuna fish especially. Did you all know that Food City carries this? This is the bread that you get at the Cheesecake Factory. It says, our famous brown bread, two wheat mini baguettes, heat and serve. Holy moly, that would be so good with my vodka pasta dish that I did on YouTube. I don't use vodka in mine though, but it's amazing and it's so easy. It's the Gigi Hadid pasta dish that was so famous. So check that out and I'll leave the link to that below in my description box as well. But I am so excited to try this. And I didn't get the stuff for the pasta, but it's only a few ingredients, so I'm definitely gonna do that. We needed some paper plates, so we picked up some of those. We needed some garbage bags, so we picked up some of those. We had cat food, I don't know where it's at, but I picked up some of that. We have a Maine Coon cat. She's an outdoor cat because she sheds so bad. 
she's about 19 years old, believe it or not, and she's getting frail. Uh, and she's really got a new life to her. She was my daughter's cat. My daughters are twins, they're 27 now, and they don't live here. And um, they uh, loved her so much, but she has gotten old. She tends, you know, I'm her master. I'm the one that feeds her every day. But since Amelia, my granddaughter's been around, she's had a new life on her and she just loves her. You can tell she follows her around in the yard and Amelia loves her. She wants to feed her every day and that kind of thing. But she's getting sick. Um, so yeah, she's starting to use the bathroom on the porch and things and she just lays around all day. So I don't think she has a whole lot of time left. She doesn't seem to be in any pain or anything. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. Her name's Miss Kitty and she's, she's a sweetie and I definitely will miss her when something happens to her. Even though it keeps my porch a mess where she sheds so bad. But anyway, this is my husband's little haul. He got him some fresh watermelon. He got these um, completes. They're microwavable dishes. I, like I said, don't like processed things like this, but he did. My son ate these a lot when he went to college. One of them, I remember he got those a lot. He got them a pot pie. Those are something I used to eat all the time growing up. Don't care for them much anymore. He also got him a couple banquet meals, and I cook a lot, so. But he will eat these, like sometimes I just do something simple and he'll he'll fix this for himself, which he's not picky at all, so that's a good thing. So he got him a sweet and sour chicken and a rigatoni and Italian sausage with meatball. He got him a box of fancy cakes and two caramel apples and a jug of ginger ale. I think that's it. So there's a lot here to put away. I'm going to put you in time lapse. We're going to put this all away. But it came to $246. I don't know if I told you all that. But we got a pretty good lot. And like I said, I've got about four or five recipes I'm going to be sharing with you all out of this. So if you think you know what they are, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for checking in with us. Like I said, I'm going to put it on a time lapse. I hope you have a great day. If you like this type of content, give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any videos. Thank you for stopping by. God bless. See you soon. Bye.